So in today's video, I will be sharing with you some of my recent sewing pattern makes. And I also want to discuss with you this dress that I'm wearing. So you will see that coming up. Okay, so these sewing patterns are patterns that I have made recently and these are videos that you will see in the next coming weeks showing these makes and me wearing them. So the first one is McCall 7742. I made view D and that is the one that the model is wearing with the ribbons in the sleeve. So I made that. The next one is McCall 7900. I made view A with the ruffled sleeves. The next one is Simplicity 8886, and I may view A that the, that the model is wearing. The next one is Simplicity 5555. I may view uh, number two, which is a wrap and a tie halter top. The next one is Simplicity 8375, which is another hacking pattern. And I made the knit dress again. I made this before. I made it again this time and I added a, well, this time when I made it, I added a ruffle, the ruffle to the bottom of the dress. Um, I really like that one. And the next one is Quick Sew 1707. I made the denim skirt and I left the hem frayed. So you will see that. I made Butterick. 6625 next view a um, it has the ties in the back and it has the gathering at the bottom and I actually think this is my favorite make out of all of these the next one that I made is simplicity 1589 and I used all scraps in this one so I made it um, out of a denim and I made view B and yeah I think that one is very interesting so I'm happy I'll be happy to show you that one so the last thing I want to share with you is this dress that I'm wearing which is Butterick 6621 this is um, made out of plaid but I did have an issue um, so the let me step back and show you the dress first of all I really like the dress let's see okay so that's the front and I used scraps around the neckline. I also used scraps in the tie area. And where I had problems is because the fabric is plaid, I'd made an attempt to try to match the plaid together. So the first piece I cut on the fold, so that was fine. So that's why that matches in the front. The back piece, I watched a video where you're supposed to, where you can cut the back piece out one piece at a time and then you fold the one piece over and put it on the other piece. Well, I attempted to do that. And where I messed up is I didn't realize that my fabric on the inside you cannot see the pattern from the other side. So when I flipped that piece over, I was like, oh my God, I cannot see the pattern. So it was hard for me to try to figure out where the lines matched and that's where everything went left. And so I kind of like freaked out and I was like, oh man. And so I ended up pinning the one piece on top of the other and I thought I was doing it correctly despite the fact that I couldn't see what I was doing ended up sewing the wrong side down all that it just went wonky everything just kind of went left so needless to say the back does not line up <laughs> so I will show you the back um, but what it did was it was a good thing that happened because it led me to go on a search for a video on how to match plaids which is how I ended up coming up with the pin cushion pin what's her name the the professor pin pin cushion video that I showed in one of my prior um, videos about one of my tags recently so I will link that again because I found that video and I was like okay I need to really work on trying to match plaids correctly so that's how I got to that video so yeah that's something I want to try to work on definitely for sure is matching the plaids so I will go ahead and show you the back how it doesn't match so let me step up so you can see the full back And this is the side. Oops, can you see? And the side. 
yeah so i really really like this sewing make i like the dress it was really easy to do so i really like that about it and um i will probably make it again for sure all right all right so before i go i want to leave you with a love share so i'm gonna read this one so the basic difference between capsules and pills is that capsules float when they're in your mouth and pills sink when they're in your mouth. The best way to take capsules is to take a mouthful of water and put the capsules in your mouth and then lean your head forward as you swallow. When you do that, the capsules will still float on the water, but it will be at the back of your throat, the capsule will be, and it will make it easier to swallow. That's a good one. <laughs> I have been in this situation where the capsule will float up to the top of my mouth and I'm like, oh, it's just so uncomfortable. So now I know to hold my head forward and I just had to pass that on to you all. So I hope that is helpful and thank you so much for watching and I will see you or you will see me in the next video.